Hey Taurus, it's Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot. Welcome, welcome. All right, so we're going to do your reading for May 20th through May 26th, okay? We're going to get your oracle cards first for you and the person that you are watching the video for, okay? One more. I know I don't have to say this, but I will. I am in some of the videos. Um, you know, I feel like I'm dealing with mature adults um, for the most part, but obviously with general readings, they're not going to resonate with everybody. And if it doesn't resonate with you, that's okay. <laughs> it, you know, I feel like if you're getting one or two readings a month that resonate with you, that's probably about right. And it's, you know, that's why there are so many lovely readers out there that, you know, different readings are going to connect with different people every week. I feel like I really don't have to say that on every single video. Um, but every now and then I will say it, but that's all I'm going to say because I really don't like to take up a lot of time talking at the beginning of the videos because I feel like these are about you, not about me. Okay. All right. So let's get a card for you. Oh, nice. All right. So we have abundance. Divine beloved, please show me how to feel fully deserving to receive I release my ego's plan and open to being a vehicle for abundance. Nice. Okay, so that can be abundance in any area of your life. So that's for you or for the person that you're watching the video for. Okay, and then we have Sanctuary. Um, this came out for a couple people uh, this, this week. Um, Aries being one of them. Um, okay, so... A sanctuary resides inside you. No matter what is happening, this inner temple beckons you to enter, take a deep breath, enter, and sit down on the throne of your own heart. So this is about listening to your heart, listening to your intuition. Okay, so somebody may not or may be starting to listen to their intuition. Okay? All right, so I'm using the Crystal Power Tarot deck by Jane Wallace. Um, I have a couple of her decks. They're always so pretty, um, you know, and I've been saying in all of the readings, I feel like if you were to line up all the decks, you know, her cards are the ones that children would run to and look at. And I like the fact that it looks like the sun on the outside of the card. So it's just very happy and very positive to me. And every single one of her cards has a positive, positive saying on the bottom of the card, which I like. Even for the cards that are considered the shadow side or the darker side, still positive on the bottom of the cards. I love that. That's what I'm all about. Finding the sun in the forest. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Okay, we have the Empress. Well, if that isn't a card of <laughs> abundance, abundance in giving love, nurturing, you know, giving birth to something new. At the bottom, it says, I create what I choose naturally and with joy. Okay, and then down here, we have the Ace of Swords. All right, so somebody might be taking a little bit of a time out to get ready to, to speak their truth here. They want this, they want this abundance with you. They see you. I'm feeling like this is you, Taurus, whether you're male or female, okay? Gender neutral here. This person sees you as very, very nurturing, loving, kind. I feel like there was a period of time where you were showing a lot of this towards them. And they almost, they almost got used to, to having you available to do that. Whereas they, they may not now. And... I feel like there's been a couple of times when they, when something good happened in their life and the first person they wanted to talk to about it was you. 
and they felt like they couldn't do it. And those are the moments, those are the times when they, they needed to take a step back and say, what has happened here? Why isn't this person in my life anymore? You know, I miss this person. I feel a very strong energy from this person of missing you. Three of Swords. Okay. And King of Pentacles. All right. So I feel like what you're portraying to the world right now, um, you're portraying that, that this person might have broken your heart. And and I feel like I feel like you might be portraying this, but but it could be that with this King of Pentacles down here. This person portrays a lot of abundance to the world. This person, this person can be a little bit of a showy individual. You know, they like the finer things in life. And I think the missing part of their abundance is that deep nurturing love. That, that's how they see you. And it's like, it, it almost completes their, their abundance profile. You know, I feel like they have, they have a lot in the physical world. All they need to like complete it is their, their empress. That nurturing feminine energy like, I feel like this person would have absolutely no problem providing for Taurus, okay? But I don't think, I don't necessarily feel like Taurus wants to necessarily be provided for. I feel like they want an e equal give and take. I'm not sure why you're really um, portraying this heartbreak. Let me see. I want to clarify that. Yeah, Four of Pentacles. I feel like you're portraying it as though you're okay with it. You're okay with, you know, holding on to your singleness, holding on to, you know, what you have on your own. That's what you're portraying to the world. For some reason you're doing that. But remember, whatever you you talk about, you bring about. So if you're talking that you're happy in your singleness, somebody else had this too. Might have been might have been Sagittarius, but if you're talking about your life that way, then that's what you're going to attract and bring and that might be why this person is taking a little time out and, you know, thinking about how to move forward with their truth because you're you're blocking it by talking about this connection or this person in this way believe it or not nine of swords this person underneath it all is worried that they are not going to have you in their life so you know when they're at night when they're up at night, this is the energy that they that they're in. They're spending a lot of time thinking about what's to come. 
and they're they're not necessarily being as positive about it as they they normally are in every other aspect of their life love is challenging for this person it's kind of the one area of their life that they don't portray this confident in control abundant personality that they are so they're worried that this isn't going to come to fruition okay and for you we have the chariot so i feel like for you i think underneath it all you you are trusting your own guidance i don't feel that um You might be portraying, you know, that you're happy in your singleness to other people. Underneath it, you know that this is going to move forward at the right time. So you that might be why you're okay portraying happy singleness to other people. It's like maybe you're doing that as a defense mechanism that you don't really want to talk about this situation or this person. That could be what you're doing because underneath you feel like this is going to move forward at the appropriate time. But this person isn't so sure. Okay, so we have the devil Capricorn energy here. And then we have Nine of Cups. So as far as what you want, um, this person is the person that you consider your match, your ideal match, who you want to be with. I feel like you decided it a while ago, and you've just kind of been on the path of this is going to happen, expecting this abundance. This person down here, devil, also can be a soulmate card. And I feel like this person is just in some turmoil. Nine of Swords is, you know, can be about, can be worries about things that are unfounded. Like stories that we create in our mind that aren't based on anything, aren't based on any type of fact. This is the stories that we create. You know, and it's like, I'm, we've all been there, right? When, when one thought turns into three thoughts, turns into, you know, five thoughts, turns into 10 thoughts, and, you know, it creates this feeling of overwhelmed. And plus two, when you're in thinking mode, you're not doing anything. You're not in your, your present moment. You're not in the present. People are happiest when they are present in the moment. They really are. And if you think about different types of positions, different types of jobs, the people, the doers, the people that are doing something are generally more happy than the people that are thinking about what the doers are doing. Okay, because the thinkers, the strategists, aren't living in the present. They're living for next week, next month, next year. And you... You really can't control that. The doers are focused on the present, what they're doing right now, how they're helping people in their, their job and their life right now. That's why a lot of people move out of management positions because it takes them out of the present moment and it makes them miserable. So a little side note there. <laughs> um, but anyways, you know, this person is, you know, feeling this devil energy because they are in their, this wheel of thoughts that they're creating. You know, and I feel like it's, it's a toxic energy. They want to get out of this energy. It's a very different 
it's very different. You both are, I feel like, are viewing things in the same way. You want the same things, but the experience that you're going through is very different. It's very different. I feel a lot of peace and calm up here overall, and I feel a lot of turmoil for this person down here. And there might be, it might be because there's a lack of, of control. Like everything else in this person's life, they can control. They can control what they do. They can control their money. They can control a lot of the people around them, but they cannot control feelings and love. And that might be the struggle for this person. But they're needlessly worrying. Needlessly. That's a hard word to say. <laughs> needlessly okay so let's see romance angels for taurus may 20th through the 26th sometimes these cards don't make as much sense in the beginning as they do towards the end this person has a view, you, has a view of what makes them feel abundant, you know, calling in abundance. All of these cards really, for the most part, talk about that, okay? Um, and then sanctuary, a sanctuary resides inside you no matter what is happening inside them. This inner temple beckons you to create, to enter, take a deep breath, enter and sit down on the throne of your own heart. Yeah, I mean we don't see we don't see any cups down here. This person needs to tap into their heart space, their heart energy, but they're so up in their head. Your heart knows what it wants in the present. Your head doesn't always. That's why people say Follow your heart, because the heart presently knows what it wants. The head isn't always clear, right? You can want something one day and then not want it the next day, <laughs> right? Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Well, that's what this person is doing, but they're doing it with their logic, with their mind, with their swords. And then up here, free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. I would say as far as free yourself, free yourself from anything because I feel like you're, there's a piece of you that doesn't authentically express who you are. To other people. It's okay to be authentically who you are, express what you truly feel all the time, and let the chips fall where they may. It's very, very freeing. I feel there is an element that you're working on or that you're working through where you're not always authentic. And that can hold back abundance. Okay? Okay. All right. All right, Taurus, that is what I have for you for this week. And I'm doing the Daily Sunny Connections this week. Those are fun for me. <laughs> it's fun to see what comes out every day, who connects with who. And I hope you enjoy those. Check them out. Um, and uh, we'll talk to you next week. All right. Thanks so much. Bye, Taurus.